Hi and welcome. We've got another quick video this time on site speed or page load speed. Now if you pop does page load speed affect SEO in Google, you get the answer. And if you scroll down, you'll see the lots of articles here on the fact that if your site or page loads slowly, you're going to rank worse in Google. Basically like Google likes your page to be fast. And the simple uh, process of looking at it is you count to three. So the human response normally is one, two, uh, pages taking too long to load, bored, going elsewhere, gone. Basically, if your page or your site takes more than three seconds to four seconds to load, you are going to be losing visitors, which is why Google doesn't like it. So you've got to make sure your site loads as quickly as possible, which is where WordPress cache plugins come in. Unfortunately, they're not as good as most of them would have you believe. Okay, this video is not going to be about going through all those different cache plugins and testing them all. It's going to be about one particular plugin that I believe is the best based on my testing, but I will declare the fact that I know the guys behind it. Uh, and if you go through from a link below this video and buy a copy, I will probably get a commission, hopefully. Um, but it is based on this being really really good okay what i'm going to do is run through a speed test so you can see what it will do to your page load speed okay so here we are on a site called gt metrics um, and it's a free site that will test your page load speed so all i'm going to do is pop in the url for one of my many many test blogs click on test your site and it will take a few moments to run. Now there is a note here, I'm actually running this in an incognito browser um, because I'm actually logged into this site in a different browser. I'm actually logged in in uh, Microsoft Edge because when you're logged into WordPress, if you run the test in the same browser, it will load quicker because stuff is already loaded up. Now there we go, we've got the results up. And as you can see, the page load speed isn't particularly brilliant, 79%, uh, three and a half seconds. So what we're gonna do now is pop across to my Microsoft Edge browser where I'm actually logged into the site. And I'm gonna click on Upload Plugin, browse to where the plugin is, simply choose the plugin, which is called Viper Cache. Click on Install Now, it'll take a second or two to install it. And once it's installed, basically I'm gonna go into the uh, menu and activate it as well make sure it's actually working so it'll take a second or two and as you can see it's saying a Viper Cache is uh, activated but it's unlicensed so I'm actually going to pause the video for just a moment or two while I pop in my license key because I don't want you copying my license key and I'll be straight back in just a moment okay so I've activated my license and I've quickly come into the Viper Cache settings and enabled it switched it on basically uh, I've also enabled HTTPS because I've got a uh, SSL certificate on this site. There are some extra bits here that I can switch on, play with, uh, but the main thing is switch it on. Okay, so let's go back across to Gmetrics. So we're now back on the Gmetrics site with the initial results that we got. Uh, we can see three and a half seconds as a page load speed. Let's go back to uh, a new browser for Gmetrics, new window, pop in the URL again, click on test your site, and it will take a few seconds to run. It's gonna rerun all the tests for me. Uh, adding job to queue, it says fetching site. Should only take another moment or two, and I'll keep talking while it's running. We're almost there. There we go, okay. Now you can see we're now at 1.8 seconds. If we simply pop back to those results again, you can see originally it was three and a half seconds for our load speed and the scores were C in the 70s. Uh, the actual score doesn't seem to have gone up much, it is in the green, but the page load speed is almost halved, okay? So that's a massive difference. Now there are more things that we can do to speed up our uh, site load speed. Uh, for instance, if we went back to the plugin itself, we could also enable file image size fixing, um, which you'll notice if we come back here is something that says surf scaled images. If we improve that through the plugin, that will push our scores further up. Um, there's other bits we can do. Again, the improvement simply from switching the basic defaults for the cache plugin on are pretty significant but there's more we can do with the plugin as well. So you can see the kind of difference using the right cache plugin makes. A Viper Cache is by far my preferred recommendation. It does the job and it does it really well. 
Now one quick note, when you first install the cache plugin, before you come and run the speed test, it is actually worth loading up the site itself. Uh, it depends on how many visitors you get to your site. This site gets quite a few visitors, so it's likely someone's already hit the site and initiated the cache itself, uh, so it's done its job. Whereas if your site isn't getting a lot of visitors, you might want to just go to the site, uh, put it in your browser, refresh the site, just so the cache has done its job and created a cached version of the page, then run the speed test because that's when the speed increase will kick in because of that caching. Okay, so that's a pretty quick demonstration video of how to speed up your page load times. Uh, if you want to get a copy of that particular uh, WordPress plugin yourself, uh, you can find it on vipercache.com. Uh, so feel free to pop over there and have a look and check it out for yourself. Thanks very much for watching.